Meanwhile, FBI offices across the country are conducting new mass shooting threat assessments. FBI Director Chris Ray ordering those assessments on Sunday following the shootings. He has reportedly set up a command group at Bureau headquarters in Washington to oversee the effort. Meanwhile, family and friends here in Colorado Springs gathering at Adams Park last night to remember a man who died after being shot by police over the weekend. Loved ones identified him as 19 year old Devon Bailey. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office is handling this investigation. They say that officers were responding to a robbery with a weapon and the suspect had reached for a gun. But right now dozens are gathered just leaving the courthouse in downtown Colorado Springs protesting after what some say was unwarranted violence. And News 5's Patrick Nelson is there bringing us the very latest on this ongoing case. Bree, the fallout from that officer involved shooting in Colorado Springs over the weekend continues. There was a protest here at City Hall that started at about 11 o'clock today. We want to go ahead and take you to that video right now. You can see uh, about 40 to 60 people showed up here on the front steps of City Hall protesting this shooting. Right now, there's not a lot of information that's been released in the wake of this shooting. What we do know is that this call came in over the weekend as an armed robbery. Police showed up and we know that a teenager uh, was shot and killed by police, but the actual name of that teenager is not being released by police. But uh, his friends and family say his name is Devon Bailey. Take a listen as we talk to one of his former classmates. It, it hits close to home when it's your friend being a police brutality victim, and then when it's somebody else, you know, it just keeps building up. And I was angry. I was so angry. And back here live in downtown Colorado Springs City right, Hall yeah. here behind me, you might be asking yourself, where is this protest? Well, it's actually made its way down Nevada here uh, to the Police Operations Center. So if you see some folks down there, that's what's going on is this is a protest in the wake of that officer involved shooting. I spent most of the morning digging in to what facts there are, and I actually just got off the phone with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. I'm going to have much more on this investigation and what we know coming up later on tonight on News 5. Reporting in downtown Colorado Springs, Patrick Nelson, News 5.